I've just come up with a new get-rich-quick scheme. I'm gonna apply to be a waiter at Bazooms. But all the waiters at Bazooms are waitresses. Yes, they are ladies, whereas I am a man, and a flat-chested one at that. So Bazooms won't hire me, and when they don't, I'll sue for sex discrimination. It's a brilliant idea. The Hooters on Wolf Road drawing protesters twice in recent weeks. Justice for Brandy! Justice for all! Everybody has justice! Trans rights! I'm suing Hooters for sex-based discrimination on the basis of accommodations and on the basis of employment. The restaurant has been a regular stop for Brandy Livingston, so much so she hoped to someday work there. However, after her recent transition, Brandy claims that she's not respected there as a woman. They would use um, male pronouns. They would refer to me as he. Oh, you don't say that they're using male pronouns. My goodness, I wonder why they're doing that. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm Sean of Third Rebel. I'm glad you're here. Um, this, this young, this young lady, and by lady, I mean this, this individual with a penis, this penis individual. What is a woman anyways? I don't even know. I don't even know. Am I a woman? How do I know if, if I'm a woman? You know, I, I that's a great I question. Like, are you a woman? I, I, I don't know. A trans woman sues Hooters after they refused to hire her. Him. Yeah. Well, this is uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a it's a tricky one because there are laws that say, hey, you don't have to hire that because it looks the way it does. But also there's a lot of laws that actually say, no, listen, because it looks that way doesn't mean you don't get to hire it. So Hooters, um, they, to stay out of hot water here, they're going to have to put up one heck of a fight. So a transgender woman is suing a Hooters franchise for discrimination after they allegedly refused to hire her based on her image. Now, that's technically allowed. We'll talk about that in a moment. So Brandy Livingston, is this individual here, has been a regular at the restaurant, famed for its scantily clad waitresses, I mean, come on now. Hooters has great wings. That's why you go there. That's why you go there. No other reason. There's only one thing you think of when you think of Hooters. Wings. Wait, what? The wings. Um, on Wolf... <laughs> I, honey, I promise it's the wings. On a Wolf Road and Colony, a uh, suburb of Albany, New York, with career... I can't, I can't even read this with a straight face. Career aspirations of working for the chain. No one, no one has career aspirations. That's what a pretty girl does. A girl who's got knockers and maybe a tiny waist or something like that. She goes, well, what am I going to do? I, I, I need something to, to um, supplement my OnlyFans income or to help me go through college or whatever. I guess this job is fine. I can... I can put my boobs to use. No one, no one is a little kid staring up at an owl going, whoa, one day I'll, I'll serve wings wearing tiny little shorts. That just doesn't happen. I think this is, this is kind of baloney. I mean, wouldn't that be funny if, if, that's, if that's why he, he transed, why he decided he's going to be a girl, where, where he was like, you know what, I, one day I'm going to be a Hooters girl. But first, I need to become a girl. I think that would just be hysterical. So with career aspirations of working for the Shane Livingston, had applied three times for listings, which were all unsuccessful, according to her. Him. Speaking with 10 News, Livingston said she, he was not respected as a woman at the establishment, alleging that workers actively discriminated against her. Him. She, he told the outlet they would use male pronouns. And they would refer to me as a he, probably, because you have a face like this. <laughs> oh, goodness. On her, him, being um, denied employment, um, she added, I said, do you want to see my experience or anything? Because I had previous jobs I had written down. And uh, apparently the fella, 
manager or whoever said, oh, we don't care about experience. We hire on the basis of personality and there's an image that needs to be met. Now, you might think to yourself, well, you know, you can't discriminate. You're not allowed to do that anymore, except you can. I, we, have a, we have a restaurant here uh, in Canada, or at least we have it here in Ontario called Moxie's. Do you guys have Moxie's? I don't know how big of a chain it is. I'm not very well traveled. But anyway, the, the, this, this restaurant is, uh, it's a fine steakhouse or, or whatever. It's a fine restaurant. It's a little expensive. I've never been. Um, but apparently the, the servers are some of the most beautiful people you've ever seen in your life, both the men and the women. So you're always served by a 10 out of 10, whether it be a male or a female. And if you show up to work one day and your hair's not perfect, or maybe your makeup's a little smudged, or maybe you're uh, too colony or not colony enough, or maybe you're not wh- whatever, maybe your stubble isn't on point, or your beard is something, they will actually send you home. And, they're, and, and, and they say, you know what, you're going to go home, you're going to fix this shit. Ugh, with that. Why would you come in looking like a homeless person? And then, and then you can work. So, I mean, like appearance is the, they're like number one thing. Which is crazy because, you know, they're often shitty servers because appearance is the number one thing. So in the state of New York, the legality of a restaurant like Hooters hiring based on appearance alone hinges on several legal and ethical considerations. So there's something called the bona fide occupational qualification or BFOC. <laughs> uh, oh, BFOC. So under federal law, um, and it's sort of the same in New York. Employers can use criteria that might otherwise be discriminatory if they can prove that it's a uh, BFOC. For Hooters, their business model heavily relies on, I think we have a photo of that. They're, they're, um, they're, the BFOC of Hooters is this right here. We have three very pretty young ladies. They have, uh, well, they have shapes to them. Lovely, delicious shapes to them. I'm going to come. That's the BFOC. That is their, their, what a weird <laughs> acronym. That is their bona fide occupational qualification is that, that, that they are pretty. So Hooters relies on, um, it heavily relies on a, a specific aesthetic, which includes a certain appearance of their staff which they might argue is essential to their brand identity and customer expectation. You don't go to Hooters thinking you're going to be served by anyone else other than these, the types of ladies that are on the screen. I, I mean, if, if maybe if, if they had male servers, you would think maybe the male servers would be more muscular, sort of the, the male version of, of this, right? That's, you go to this restaurant to you know, expect that because the wings are really good or, or something. Like that. I've never actually been to a Hooters, so I don't know. So, however, uh, this argument has been contested in court and public discourse, questioning whether such practices are genuinely necessary or just discriminatory. So this thing that uh, companies like Hooters have uh, held behind their shield has been henpecked and it's breaking up a little bit. Right. So because this is in New York, we have New York's, you know, state laws sort of coming into play here, though it's uh, its division of human rights has shown a tendency to scrutinize closely what might be considered discriminatory hiring practices. Um, there, there's no explicit ban on appearance based hiring in, in all the contexts. The state's uh, human rights laws might interpret overly restrictive appearance requirements as discriminatory if they unfairly exclude uh, you know certain portions of the population from employment like if uh, you needed to uh, fit a penis into a pair of these shorts here thank you pedro you know <laughs> could you imagine that moose knuckle oh my god don't imagine it stop stop imagining it so things like um, gender, race, physical appearance, not directly related to job performance, right? So you would have to say that these are not um, overly restrictive and that you're, you're, you're still 
operating within your bona fide occupational qualification. So Livingston said that uh, she. Him, 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 him. Also heard the employees and a manager at the restaurant harass them about using their restroom. I'm just going to try and use a they because this whole she, he thing, it gets tiring after a while. They claimed, uh, I overheard one of the servers after I left the restroom talking to one of the managers and said that, why are you allowing him in the woman's restroom? That's always a good question. I personally, I don't like it. I don't like it. And you might say, Sean, what, why don't you like that? Well, it's because apparently I'm a bigot. I get called racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, and they're all true. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a transphobe, and I'm fine with that. I am whatever you say I am. And if I wasn't, then why would I say I am? If only Eminem wasn't a douchebag. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, because um, Loudoun County is a thing. That's why. Why am I so against it? Because of Loudoun County. When, when any boy can pretend to be any girl and then go in and literally rape someone. But that never happens. Oh, it does. Yeah. In Loudoun County. It, it has happened. And then there was a massive cover-up over it. So that's, that's the only example you'll ever really need because, it, because one little girl's life uh, will never be the same because of this kind of thing happening. Livingston filed a claim with the New York State Division of Human Rights, which we sort of just talked about there, who investigated and found evidence that their rights may have been violated. Hooters has since hit back at the claim, saying that Livingston had been uh, told not to return to the establishment over alleged offensive behavior. And this is sort of kind of where it gets a little crazy. Their lawyer said that Livingston allegedly made some sexu sexually explicit comments to servers on multiple occasions prior to their transitioning. So he was, uh, he was a dude, and he was really creepy and said a lot of sexually inappropriate things to the hot servers. And then they were like, oh, my God, don't come back. And then so, so this dude decided to be a she-dude, and then he came, they came back, and then he's like, hey, I'd like a job. And they're like, uh, yeah, no, thank you. And then, and then they're like, oh, that's discrimination. No, we, we said don't come back. News 10 reporters James De La Fuente questioned Livingston over this, saying the chain had accused them of uh, asking servers to marry them and discussing masturbation. The company also said that uh, they had threatened to go to a gun range for practice for the next time uh, they, they came to the restaurant. So threatening to shoot up the place. That's not a very trans thing to do, is it? Shooting up places? Oh, wait a, wait a tick. It is. Livingston told the outlet that I never said anything about. That's 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 the that's the sentence. I never said anything about. My mom would take me to the gun range and for clay pigeon shooting trap. I feel like one of the servers might have overheard what me and my dad were talking about and misunderstood what we were talking about. Or maybe you're lying. Due to the uh, findings by the State Division of Human Rights, Hooters and Livingston will attend a hearing next September. Livingston told the outlet that uh, she does not want any money over her claims. I doubt that so much. Press X to doubt. That's huge. Uh, what I really want is an apology. I'm never going to get that. No, it's always money, and it's always sort of power. It's 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 like that uh, Jessica Yaniv or whoever who who in British Columbia who was like, you will wax my balls. You will wax my girl penis and my girl balls because it is my manly vagina. And the courts were like, you, mu you must wax the girl balls. But then other courts were like, no, you shall not wax the girl balls. It's this weird thing that's happening. It's a part of it. Not only is it money, but it's like power. They're obsessed with the power. Anyways, um, Hooters hasn't commented. This case of Brandy Livingston against Hooters in New York highlights the, the, the growing scrutiny over uh, such hiring practice might discriminate against transgender individuals or others who don't fit traditional 
Hooters girl's image. Um, this case suggests that while appearance can be a hiring criterion, uh, it's becoming increasingly challenged when it intersects with broader discrimination issues. Hopefully that, uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the, the pendulum, it was super far left, right? And I, we've hit peak. It's, boop, it's starting to come back. It, the pendulum is beginning to swing right. The Overton window has stopped moving. It's beginning to move back. We're, 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 we're heading back in, into the direction of early 2000s. It might be slowly. It might take a few years, but we're finally heading back. We might have hit peak woke. I hope to, to goodness that we've hit peak woke and we can finally start going back. That would be, I think that would be fantastic. So ultimately, yes, Hooters can legally consider appearance in hiring due to uh, their business model, but this practice is under increased legal scrutiny and public debate. Um, however, that's a big fat, however, uh, if this hiring practice is seen to discriminate based on protected classes like gender identity, and in, in, in this case with uh, Brandy Livingston, um, it might not hold up in courts or under the state human rights investigations. So Hooters is in for one heck of a fight. But these these other claims about shooting up the place and uh, harassing the, the, the servers to like, oh, marry me, marry me, and, and talking about like masturbation to the servers and stuff like that. That's probably going to be the ace in their pocket because it's not just going to be like a, hey, uh, we're not going to hire them because they are uh, they have a penis and they look like shit. They look like a man that doesn't fit. We don't we don't want a moose knuckle in the little uh, orange short. It's going to be, um, you know. A little bit of that, but also this person might be dangerous or crazy. So anyways, uh, I appreciate you watching this. Thank you for all of your time. It means a lot to me. Um, please do check out any of my other videos and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>